Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hey guys, Jim here, Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. We have some interesting news today from one of the companies we cover quite a bit here, and that is Diamed Medical. What's interesting is that they are progressing so quickly through their clinical trials with, with Diamed that the government has now granted them a second FDA fast track approval. We've got the whole story for you here. Hit the like and subscribe button if you would. That helps us to reach out to more people around the globe with this important information on type 1 diabetes. Now let's find out what's going on at Diamed and all about the fact that they have just received their second fast track designation. Diamed Medical has just received a second fast track designation from the FDA for its lead candidate, Diamed, this time specifically for delaying the onset of clinically diagnosed stage 3 type 1 diabetes in pediatric patients who carry the HLA-DR3-DQ2 genotype. What this means, fast track designation is granted to drugs addressing serious conditions with unmet medical needs, offering more frequent interactions with the FDA, eligibility for accelerated review processes, potential access to priority review and rolling submissions. This marks the second fast track approval for Diamid. Earlier this year, researchers were able to preserve beta cell function in newly diagnosed stage 3 T1D patients with the DR3DQ2 genotype. Now for preventing clinical diagnosis stage 3 onset in at-risk children, stages 1 to 2 with the same HLA type. Diamid Medical is exploring both treatment and prevention settings across the full type 1 diabetes spectrum. Strategic Tide Toward Accelerated U.S. Approval The FDA has also provided strong guidance on advancing Diamid under the Accelerated Approval Pathway, designating C-peptide, a marker of insulin secretion, as a surrogate endpoint predictive of clinical benefit. This paves the way for a planned interim readout in March 2026 from the Phase 3 Diagnode 3 trial, potential submission of a Biologics License Application BLA soon after, subsequent full approval upon validating longer-term clinical outcomes. Why this is a major milestone? Dual fast-track status highlights the therapy's versatility across prevention and early treatment. The FDA's endorsement of C-peptide as surrogate endpoint speeds development, especially under accelerated approval. If interim results in March 2026 are positive, Diamid could be available in the U.S. well before Phase 3 completion, possibly around 2026 to 2027. Key dates to watch March 2026. Interim efficacy readout C-peptide from Diagnote 3. Late 2026, potential accelerated approval decision from FDA. Here's a breakdown of the clinical trial data and key implications of diamide for the type 1 diabetes T1D community, focusing on its mechanism, current trial results, and real-world impact. Diamid is an antigen-specific immunotherapy that uses recombinant human GD65, a major autoantigen in T1D, combined with alum as an adjuvant. It's not a general immunosuppressant, it aims to retrain the immune system to tolerate beta cells instead of attacking them. It's precision targeted, most effective in people who carry the HLA-DR3-DQ2 genotype, present in 40% of people with T1D. What have trials shown so far? Previous Phase 2B trial, Diagnode 2, preservation of C-peptide at 15 and 24 months, improved blood sugar control, HbA1c, lower daily insulin use. Diamid was well tolerated with minimal side effects. This led to the Phase 3 program being focused specifically on genetically selected patients, DR3-DQ2, improving trial power and expected effect size. Why the HLA-DR3-DQ2 genotype matters? This is a specific genetic immune profile that influences how patients respond to autoimmune antigens. This is one of the first examples of genetically guided precision medicine in T1D. Diagnode 3 has shown great progress in the almost three years this channel has been covering Diamed. We are encouraged and will look forward to the results to come. So the important takeaway here is that if you are a type 1 diabetic or if it runs in your family, 
If this is effective and comes to market in 2027, or maybe sooner, if we're lucky, um, you will be able to identify and prevent diabetes in one of your offspring, potentially. If they carry this genotype, the uh, HLA DR3 DQ2 genotype, you're going to be able to identify that and take action to hopefully prevent them from going through what you have gone through with type 1 diabetes. So we love the fact that they are fast tracking this process. That only means that the government believes in their technology. So uh, we'll be happy for those of us who are adult uh, diabetics. We'll be happy if some of the other companies that we follow regularly here also get a fast track designation based on the results from their various clinical trials. Hope you got something out of this today. Thank you for hanging out with us. We'll have another video for you here real soon on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Have a great day.